salmon with lentils. It's a great party dish because you can make it in huge quantities. But for two, it's also perfect. So I'm going to make it for Michael and me. So first, I'm going to make the lentils. I'm going to pour boiling water over the top and just let them soak for about 10 minutes so they soften. So I'm going to put the lentils aside. I'm going to saute all kinds of vegetables, cook the lentils with it, and then saute the salmon separately and put it together. A little bit of olive oil. I have two cups of onions. I'm just going to saute them together. And two cups of leeks. They're both pretty much in the same family, but the leeks are a little more delicate than the onions. They're great together. And some fresh thyme, about a teaspoon. None of this has to be exact. So, I'm just saute this for about 10 minutes until the onion's translucent. A little bit of salt. Some pepper. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna cut up some carrot and celery. I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of chopped garlic. Cook that for a minute. And then one and a half cups of chopped celery. One and a half cups of chopped carrots. So it's really chunky, it's got lots of flavor, and the lentils are just part of it. I'm just gonna saute that for a second. One and a half cups of chicken stock. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. Just stir it in. I'm gonna add the lentils. I'm gonna cook these together for about 20 minutes, the lentils and the vegetables, then I'm gonna sear the salmon, and then I'm off to Michael's. The key to the salmon is to just sear the outside, so you make a really crisp crust, and then it seals in all the flavor. Drizzle this with a little bit of oil. Okay. Lots of salt and pepper. This is really the only seasoning, so you want to make sure you season it really well. Okay, really hot pan. Just make sure you can really feel it. And then take the salmon and put it in seasoning side down. And just leave it. I know it's really tempting to move it around, but you want to really create a really great crust. So I'm just gonna cook it on this side for about two minutes and then flip it over and roast it in the oven and it'll be perfect, it's sort of crusty on the outside and tender inside. Okay, two minutes, let's turn it over. Oops. Okay, into the oven for about five to seven minutes, 450 degrees. This is how they cook it in restaurants and it comes out perfectly. I'm going to finish the lentils, and then I'm off to Michael's. Well, the salmon's perfectly cooked. That's going to be wonderful. So I have a little bit left to do on the lentils. So I'm going to add about two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. It just really sort of perks up the flavor a lot. Let's see how this is. Mmm, I can smell it. I love when it hits the heat. Mmm. It's delicious. A little more salt. Always needs a little more. Mmm, the sweetness of the red wine vinegar and the carrots and lentils, it's gonna be great with the salmon. So I'm just gonna take a platter and just fill it up. Mmm. The good news is it's good hot, but it's also good room temperature. The salmon on top.